Igish Fiontech versus Arena Sabalenka. It's the final of the Stuttgart Open for 2023. And we're getting a rematch of last year's final from 2022. Sabalenka started the tournament off as the number two seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Krajikova, a lady she'd played in her last four tournaments including this one. But this time, Sabalenka would win really easily, 6-2, 6-3, to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on wildcard and best friend, Paolo Bedosa. And after being down a set and a break, Sabalenka would fight back to win, 4-6, 6-4, 6-4, to get to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sabalenka would take on the unseeded Potapova, who had just taken out Goff and Garcia to get to the stage. There was no problem for Sabalenka, getting through in straight sets, 6-1, 6-2, to advance to another final. Fiontek started the tournament off as the number one seed, and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Zhang, a player that she had to fight last year a couple of times in some close matches. This was no problem for Shriantek, getting through in straight sets, 6-1, 6-4. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on Pliskova, who had taken out Zachary and Vekic to get to this stage. And this was brutal for Shriantek, starting down 4-love, with Pliskova taking the first set, having to fight back to win, eventually getting through in 3-4-6, 6-1, 6-2 to get to another Stuttgart semifinal. In the semifinals, Shriantek would take on the number three seed, Jabur, who she hadn't played since the US Open final last year. But unfortunately, after injuring herself in the very first game, Jabir would have to retire at three love in the first set, handing Sviantek a win to make it to another Stuttgart final. This two have played six times before, with Sviantek leading the head-to-head 4-2, including two matches on clay, which Sviantek has won easily. However, Sabalenka did win their last match at the WTA finals at the end of last year, and has also won the Australian Open since they've last met. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she needs to be super aggressive, and she needs to serve well. We saw Pliskova push Sviantek a couple of days ago in the quarterfinals. Sabalenka's a better version of Pliskova, so she can do a lot of the same things, and maybe even trouble Sviantek in two sets rather than just the one set that Pushkova was able to do. If Shiontek's going to win this one, she needs to play the best match she's played all week. She's been a little bit shaky this week. It's been weird to see. Not playing the best tennis, even though she has got some convincing wins. But avoiding playing a tough match against Jabir might help her in the end if it does go the distance. We get a rematch of last year's final. It's going to be an epic final. But I reckon it's going to be Shriantek winning this one in three sets. I think Sabalenka might take a set and get close. But I think Shriantek's going to weather the storm. And again, I can't pick against Shriantek on clay unless she starts losing a few more matches. But who do you think's going to win? Let me know down in the comments below in the final of Stuttgart.